Welcome back to that dad guy. Another year has gone by and I, I don't mean 2023 is done. I mean my daughter's first year of university is finished. She's now on summer vacation and uh, pretty soon she's going to be home with us. So we'll have a complete house again here, which will be very nice. Uh, looking very much forward to having uh, both the kids here, even though it may uh, have some challenges with uh, who's going to get the car and drive and who needs to go to what uh, job or what summer activity. Um, those are all the fun things that uh, the summer brings. Luckily in the summer when I work, I don't work very long, so it might uh, make one of the cars more available. Uh, so we shall see. Uh, we'll juggle that um, problem when it comes to it, cross that bridge when we come to it, all those uh, metaphors. Uh, that's what we're going to do. But today we are going to get some post crossing done. I've got seven official ones that I can write today. So I'm going to show you the cards that I picked out for them. Um, that means my cards are making it to their destinations in pretty good time. Because I think I sent out six last week and I've only got 15 or uh, 16 that I can send. So those slots are starting to fill up and then they're getting to their destinations within a, about uh, seven or eight days, some of them. So I'm really happy with it. So let's get right to it. The very first card that I have going out officially is going off to uh, Netherlands and it's going to Nikki. She's 25 years old. She works in a notary office in Rotterdam. Her hobbies are reading books, gardening, watching Netflix, collecting uh, fairy tales and Tinkerbell. She also likes to listen to music, especially Queen, Mika, Imagine Dragons and Half Alive. As pets, uh, she has a very sweet guinea pigs named Roger and John Chip. I love that name, John Chip. Uh, they have their own Instagram account. So if you want to check out John Chip and Roger, you can go to Queen Piggies. Uh, that's where you'll find them. For cards that she's looking for, Queen, Freddie Mercury, Pugs, Guinea Pigs, Succulents or Cactuses, Fairies, uh, Disney, but not Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck or Daisy. doesn't want the normal Disney, just the other Disney you may find. Uh, Salvador Dali. Uh, she's got a few other things along the way here, but I kind of stayed at uh, succulents and things, and I went with this card. She also said that uh, she prefers her cards in envelopes. So we've got an envelope here. Um, let me turn this up. I want to show you the stamps that I picked. Those stamps are going. So there's the surprise, maybe. So we're going to send that off. And uh, hopefully Nikki enjoys that. She wants it in an envelope because she says sometimes the post office, um, uh, the cards start to get a little mangled. So I'll protect it if that's her wish. That's what we can do. Not a big deal there. All right, my next card is going to Germany. It's going to Barbell. And uh, she lives in a small town on the east of Germany. Uh, it's on the coast. And in the summer, there's lots of people who want to relax. In her free time, she likes reading. Doesn't matter what it is. Fantasy, history, crime, or love stories. She just likes books. She likes books of uh, Kate Morton, uh, Re Rebecca Gable, Diane uh, Gobbledon. I don't ever heard of that one. But uh, I li she likes being outside too. She has uh, a dog. His name is Freddy. And he's a Chevalier King Charles Spaniard. He always is friendly and is so happy when her children visit with their children. So you see, she's a grandma. Uh, she started post-crossing after reading an article about it in a newspaper and has a lot of fun to send and get uh, nice postcards. She doesn't have special wishes about the cards she has, but she would like uh, very nice cards with views from my area. So I'm going to send this one here. I'm not sure if she's got any lobster boats there. Actually, I, I know she doesn't have lobster boats there because there are no lobsters uh, over there other than the ones that we ship because we send tons of them around the world. So there's a lobster and lobster boat off to Germany. Uh, the next one I have is going to New Zealand. It's going to Auckland. Uh, I've never sent an official one to New Zealand before. I used to have an aunt that lived in Auckland for many, many years. Uh, she just recently returned to England. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's great to, to have a card. This one is a little bit more interesting. Uh, his name, yeah, well, he says, uh, postcards depicting World War I or World War II are of interest to him. He also likes maxi cards. Uh, he likes... He says, however, any postcard will be acceptable. He's been interviewed for Post Crossing Spotlight. That's great that he's been a promoter of Post Crossing. And then he goes, and I've never seen this before, he lists every country and city that he's been to in the world. There's two pages of them. Uh, every line is a new country. Uh, when you get to Canada, he says he's been to Toronto, Hamilton, uh, Niagara Falls, St. Jacobs, London, Brantford, Ottawa, Niagara-on-the-Lake, Stratford, Godrich, 
uh, Wasaga Beach, St. Catharines. Also been out to BC, to Vancouver, Kamloops, Jasper, and Alberta. He's been to, uh, or Jasper, Lake Louise, Banff, Calgary. And then he's also been to Revelstoke and Kelowna in BC. So he's never been to the East Coast. But many, many, many places he's traveled around the world. So uh, this is what I sent him. This is a view card. This is a Grand Inde, Inde here in New Brunswick. And uh, there's a World War II artil or, um, air any aircraft gun there uh, set up for when we thought possibly the Germans would come to our shores. Now, there were signs that the German U-boats had made it to Newfoundland and into Labrador. Um, but as far as I know, they've never made it to New Brunswick. And uh, so, yeah, just in case. So that's my World War II reference. I don't really have a lot of war cards. Uh, so hopefully he likes that with a giant lobster trap and the lighthouse and just pictures of the area here. All right, the next card is going off to Belgium. And uh, she is 36 years old. She's an Aquarius. Uh, she lives in a small town in Belgium. Uh, she's originally of origin of Lebanese and Italian. Her boyfriend and her like to travel. They love the sun. It says, if you don't know what to write, tell me about your country and what you dream of visiting or what country you dream of visiting and why. Uh, she would like cards that depict space, astrology, constellations, moon, stars, magic, cards with beautiful color, cards with animal illustrations, flowers and plants, vintage, curiosity, nice illustrations. And if you live near a, by a beach, you can send me a card of your place. Maybe an idea for the next trip. So... Um, there were some good ideas in there, but I've had this card for quite some time. I thought maybe they would like it. It's an astronomy card or a postage stamp that came out in England about astronomy. And she seems to be a bit into all that stuff. So I hope her and her boyfriend enjoy that card. But if they want a place to visit and they've checked this YouTube channel out, come on down here to the East Coast and check it out. We've got beaches. All right. Now, this is a first for me when post-crossing. Um, this person is from China. I'm going to do this. That's the printout of their page. It just says about. Absolutely no details. Uh, I don't even know if it's a man or a woman I'm sending it to. Um, I know their birth date is in January. But that's it. I don't know anything else. So, I'm just going to send this Peggy's Cove... Uh, Nova Scotia, Canada card, lighthouse, you got a bit of the ocean there. Um, I hope they like it. <laughs> it's a nice looking card. It's got some color and if you like lighthouses and water, that's great. If there's someone who doesn't like lighthouses and water, I'm sorry, but uh, there was no uh, information to give me guidance. So I think that's an important lesson on why at least write a little something in there. Uh, even if you write it in your language, we can Google Translate it with our phones and see exactly what it does say, because I've had to do that a few times too. All right, my next card is going to Portugal. He is 64 years old, and he's a teacher. Hobbies are traveling, reading, photography, and postcrossing. He says he likes any types of postcards I care to send, but the favorite categories are bridges, dams, reservoirs, map cards, and city views. So he likes bridges. Here's the Confederation Bridge which is 12.9 kilometers long. It's the largest bridge in the world that's built over water that freezes. So there's some stats for you. Hopefully he likes that bridge. And then my last official card is going to Texas in the United States. And uh, she lives in Fort Worth, married with three adult children, loves receiving mail and has pen pals for many years. Her main hobby is reading. She enjoys detective crime and mystery books, especially the Harry Bosch series. Uh, she likes romance books as well. Her favorite book is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. She enjoys traveling to uh, the United States National Park, so would love to see parks from other countries. And also beautiful scenery. She's an animal lover, especially dogs. She's got two, Lila and Zuzu, and she also loves penguins. And she's open to any type of postcard, vintage, art deco, beautiful scenery, black and white photos. Throughout uh, low post crossing, she's come to love loo paper and lantern press cards. And then she said she would appre appreciate postcards not in envelopes. So the first one I showed you, they wanted an envelope. This one really wants it in um, just as is. And if it gets dinged up along the way, that's the way it happens to get there. Other favorite things are moon star, hedgehog, sunsets, 
water, oceans, lakes, sunflowers, blah, blah, blah. So I've checked this. We've got some ocean. We've got uh, cliffs. We also have this as Cavendish, which is a national park. So I think it checks a few boxes for her. And uh, those are going out. Now let me show you some of the ones that I picked to go for friend swaps. This one here, I just received this card. So uh, it's going right back out again, the tulips. Uh, this is the time that all the tulips are popping up around here and the butterfly on it. I think it's just a really cool uh, spring-like card. And then this one here, Cape and Rage, which was uh, restored by high school students and a teacher specifically from Harrison Tremble, where my kids went to school. And uh, so now it's a quite a tourist attraction. It's got rappelling, it's got... Uh, zip lining. It's got a lighthouse you can go see. It's got trails you can walk on. It's a really nice spot. Very close to Fundy National Park. So if you happen to be going to Fundy National Park, it's worth taking a, a side trip and going there as well. We're getting quite a theme of maritime cards in this one. Uh, here is Minister's Island here in New Brunswick. The really cool thing about Minister's Island is the only way you can get to it is when it's low tide and then you can drive across the sandy beach. Uh, when it's high tide, there's water in the way, so I guess the only other way you're getting over is if uh, you've got a helicopter or a boat to get you across. But you can drive across the sand floor when the tide's out. And then this one here of Alma. I talk about Alma a lot. This is the home of the sticky buns that I really love in the, the summertime. We head down the Kelly's Bake Shop where the sticky buns are just opened up this week. So at some point, I'm going to take a drive and go get some sticky buns. Uh, I usually do it around Father's Day is the first time that I get it because that's the day that uh, my family says, what do you want to do? And what do I generally want to do is go for a hike and eat some sticky buns. Lately, I've been on a bit of a diet, uh, so uh, I haven't been eating a lot of treats. I do have some snacks every once in a while, um, just as like a treat once a weekend. That's kind of what I've been doing lately. So there we go. And there's some lobster there as well, which I really enjoy. This next one is a view of a bridge in Fredericton, the capital of New Brunswick, crossing the St. John River. So that's a nice view going out. And then here's the Block House in St. Andrews. You'll find the Union Jack flies quite a bit around Atlantic Canada. There is a strong French and English population here, and uh, especially the city of St. John, which is a loyalist city. So anyone that was trying to escape the American Revolution that was... Um, supporters of the British Crown. They usually escaped up here to New Brunswick and settled here. So we have a big loyalist population that's here or loyalist descendants. So the Union Jack flies quite a bit in our area. And then we have this card, which is Campbellton, New Brunswick. You can see the giant fish. Fishing industry is very big in New Brunswick. And we have a lighthouse and uh, all sorts of spectacular views as well that you can see up there. And the last card, also a New Brunswick card, is St. John, New Brunswick. This is where my sister lives. You can see the St. John Market. It is a very old market. Uh, lots of great things in there. Uh, established uh, places you can go. Cruise ships come in in the summertime. So it is a, a nice spot to go. And they have the Reversing Falls there as well. And Irving Nature Park. There's lots of nice things to see around St. John. It is very different than Moncton. Moncton is a very flat city. Um, a little bit... Uh, more white collar, and I would say that uh, St. John is more industry, more blue collar, and uh, factories and things there, pulp mills. Yeah, very different feel, but great city nonetheless. So that is my monumental task to get all that stuff up and sent out. Uh, I think I can do it. I know I can do it because I do it each week. So I hope you guys find time, a little niche of time, that you can do your post cross and get your cards out there. Um, if you're not a post crosser, go check out postcrossing.com and maybe it's something you might be interested in. If you like getting mail from around the world and uh, secret surprises, it's a great hobby for that. If you like stamps, you're getting stamps from around the world too, so it works for that too. Um, and if you put your interests on it, for mine, like Lego, I sometimes get Lego cards. Not made of Lego, which would be cool too, but uh, images of Lego on it. So very cool for uh, mixing all your hobbies and interests postcrossing.com. All right, you guys, have a magical week. Like Polo? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Bye.